Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist. I couldn't resist this kitten. I just love the expression on that little face. So we'll just map out and get the shapes we want here. And I got those paws down a little bit too far. I'm going to have to move them up a bit, I think. So just kind of feeling things out. Measuring with my eyes, my intuition. Just feeling it out. There we go. Move them up just a touch. That's all it takes. Of course, that being said, if they stayed where they were, it would have been fine too. Because, you know, kittens and cats can slouch more and they can stretch out more. But I really wanted to capture the look of this one. Get the shapes for the muzzle in there. So this kitten's head is tilted up a bit and I wanted to capture that look too. So for that reason, the muzzle is a bit higher up. Everything's got to be a bit higher up on the head. Yeah, I'm liking the shape now. So I'll start adding some of the darker lines. And less is more. Because with a fluffy kitten, we don't see a whole lot of hard lines. But in the facial expression, in the facial features and the paws, we tend to see a little bit more of that. But we want, you know, the definition of the other areas to be a little bit softer. Cute little nosy. Yeah, I like that mouth. Changing the lines of the mouth really can go a long ways towards changing the expression. I mean, everything can, but I find really in the mouth. I'll add some of those tabby stripes for character and also help shape the contour of the head, especially you notice the ones beside the eyes. They kind of go around the contour of the head. And they... To me, they kind of look like the cats wearing sunglasses, and I, like, I kind of like to play that up. I like to exaggerate things. Make it fun. It's supposed to be fun. That's what it's for. It's not a chore, not a job. It's for enjoyment. Definitely want a little bit more definition in the face, because that'll be our focal point, the face and the paws. But we want the eye to move around the whole drawing too. So otherwise, what's the point of the rest of the drawing? So I just really like to focus on the face and the paws. And those things that say cat. Some hints of tabby stripes around the body. We were going three times the speed at first, and now we're going four times the speed. So I don't draw this fast, and I'm voicing over. A little bit more definition in some parts of the tabby stripes and those whisker dots. I just get them down really kind of quick and spontaneous. And I don't really try to define each dot. I just kind of a, a smudging of, of dots in a clump. And I don't even put them in for all cats. But sometimes they just, they go in, go with the tabby markings. Of course, I sign it and then I decide I want to do some more, which is typical. And darken some of those areas that I really want to pop up and add the whiskers. Now we're back down to three times the speed again. Just a few more definitions with a darker pencil, charcoal pencil. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.